Hi guys! Today I'm going to be doing a video showing all of my Calico Critter playsets and buildings. Um, and then in the next video, I'm going to be showing you all of my critters. It's been about a year since I did my last um, collection video. And the biggest difference between now and then is my huge collection of different types of buildings. Um, so let's get into so it. So here's my setup for Waffleville. Um, it doesn't really usually look like this. Um, I turned most of the buildings to face outwards to show you which ones that I have. Um, and to make it look a little neater right now, I'm kind of in the process of cleaning and then refurnishing. And then I also have some more furniture coming in the mail. So most of these houses and buildings are empty or a mess on the inside. They're just flipped the other way. Um, and this isn't this is also not all of my buildings. I have a few other not on this shelf, um, but I'm going to get into these ones. So first. this one, this is the only one that's on this shelf. This is like my collector shelf, but this is the luxury townhome. This is the same model that my sister had when we were kids. And I really wanted this, but I never really asked for calico critters. So I never got one. Here is the top level, and these are on top because they are too big to fit anywhere else. Um, I don't really know the names of all of them. So I got this one in a bundle off of Mercari. This one was, um, it was like $50 or something for this one and the one at the bottom, which I'll show later. And they actually, supp they're supposed to connect, which I didn't realize until much later, like very recently. I didn't turn this one around because um, I really wanted to show the inside first. So I really like this one. I like the layout of it. I really like the built-in stairs. Again, not very furnished. But here's what the outside of it looks like. It's a cabin themed. The cabin ones aren't my favorite, if I'm being quite honest. I don't really, I'm not really a huge fan of cabin architecture. Um, and I thought this one was kind of strange looking. What's weird about this one is the roof can come off and it actually comes off really easy. So it's, um, yeah, kind of annoying that way, but I really do like this little porch sunroom area. Next, I have my Babelbrook Grange. This one's really cool. Um, I don't know if I want to face it inward or outward. This one's definitely going outward or inward, but um, the outside is just so beautiful. And the inside is a three story, which is really rare to find. So I really like that. And then this um, cool thing about this one is the roof kind of hinges like an old dollhouse and it becomes like a fourth floor, like a little porch on top. Here is one of the earlier houses from Calico Critter. I bought some older furniture to put in here. This one will probably stay like this facing inside. It's very plain on the outside. Um, this one was a little bit hard to figure out because it was such a big space um, on the bottom, but I put on like this fake, I put this cardboard piece to separate the bathroom from the rest of the house and it works really well for me. Here is my grand hotel, my Cloverleaf Manor. This used to be opened up. Um, I'm still debating whether or not to keep it closed like this or to open it back up. Um, just because I think it looks so good closed. It looks so massive and it looks fancy on the outside. It's beautiful. Um, I wish there's a way to like furnish it while it's closed so I can put some of my furniture in here because it looks really cool from the outside in. It looks kind of crazy because it's hanging off the edge but not a lot of it is, only like an inch or two so I think I can live with that. I wish I could put the little um, this thing on there but it'll, it wouldn't fit obviously. Down here I have my Betty's Burger Cafe and my Brick Oven Bakery. The Brick Oven Bakery is my first place I think from Calico Critters and I really like this. Not my favorite bakery now that I've seen other ones but it was my first so there's a lot of memories here and it is really cute. This one, so this whole thing's kind of like together. This is the country school. I got this one um, used for a really good deal. And then I also got, I put the toy shop on top because that's kind of where it fit. And right next to it is like a park slash playground so the kids can play during recess, which is really cute. I wasn't sure how I felt about the school because I think it's really boring, but with the playground and everything and all the it's a spot to put like the babies and the kids. I think it works out pretty well and the toy shop is really cute. I'm thinking, thinking of selling this but I do really like all the accessories and stuff that come that came with it. Here I have my hamburger wagon. I've been wanting this for a really long time. I wanted it before I got the Betty's Burgers and I think I got them both around the same time but I think it's still 
really adorable. It's missing some pieces. Well, it's missing a piece um, that I wish it had, but it's not that big of a deal that it's not there. But it has like these built-in um, kitchen and then it has like a little door. This is really cute. I don't really have like a car. I thought I had a car in my collection. I might have given it away or something. Um, and I don't have a horse to pull it, but it's basically like a food truck. Here I have my boutique and my village cake shop. Um, originally, the toy shop was on to uh, is, was where the boutique is. Um, a lot of people make this uh, put this combo together because the colors are very complementary. And I think those look pretty good together too. I don't know why a toy shop would be on top of a school, but that's just how it is. Um, there's still tape on here from uh, when it was in transit, but it does open. And the cake shop is one of my favorites. There's a vintage cake, sh cake shop that looks very similar, like, aesthetically. Um, but I like that one a lot more. And I didn't know about it until after this one and a few others. So I might get it. I probably won't, though, because I have no space. And I, it looks so similar to this one. It'd be very redundant. But look at the curb appeal. And then the boutique. I haven't really done anything with it yet. This is what it looks like. It just has some random stuff in there. And I like all the windows. It's probably my favorite part. Here is that house that was bundled with this one. And um, this one is kind of broken. Um, I think this is like a Japan exclusive. That's what someone told me in um, a Calico Critters uh, group on Facebook. Um, it's missing some, I think these are supposed to be doors or windows right here. And then it's missing a window pane right here, but it's not too bad. The outside isn't my favorite. So I like to put it the other way. Um, so that works out. So I don't really have to see the broken window. Here is the hot dog van. This one I really liked before I got any of my um, more expensive play sets. These vans are a lot cheaper than the um, buildings are. I think this one was $20. So 20 to 30 bucks. And it came with a few accessories. And I put this little picnic bench in front of it. So people have a place to eat. Here is the Harvester restaurant. This is a re this is a building that I specifically got because I really like the outside of the building. I think it just looks so fancy and I love the colors. Um, I bought a replacement sign. Um, I guess these um, are usually glued or they just come attached or something because I can't take that out. And these buildings normally come with no sign, like it's snapped off. So I'm gonna have to like just Maybe I can putty that or use hot glue so I can take it off later. Here I have my cottage. This is one of the first ones I put um, with the outside facing because this one is really hard to furnish. It's super small on the inside, so not a lot can fit in it. Um, there's only, I really like this one because it's very sturdy and it's really cute. It's very similar aesthetically to the hotel in my opinion because of the brick and the blue. And then here, I have my watermill bakery, which is adorable. I probably said that so many times. Um, I really like this one. Uh, it only came with a shell, but I've been using it as like a donut, donut place, as you can see. It's like donuts and bagels and stuff in there. Um, and then underneath that is the supermarket. This one I've been having my eye on for a while. There are some older sets of the supermarket which are really cute but I love this one because I like this big glass and it has some like some writing on it, it looks really fancy uh, I have to take the stickers off but I think in this era like 2010s um, Epoch really liked to do like the glass fake glass kind of thing and I really enjoy that I think it like adds a lot of dimension to it some of the older sets um, are very old looking, I guess. Um, I think this one's very cute. It's like a little cartoony, but I like that. So here's one of the buildings that I really like that I really want to put on Waffleville, but I have no idea where to put it. This is the, I think this is called the Copper Beach Cottage or something like that. Um, I've been trying to find the railing for this for a while now, uh, for a couple months, well, maybe a month or so and I have not found it. There's one on eBay, but because it's all the way from the UK, it's like $20, so I don't want, it's like a tiny little piece too. But I really want this one in the collection because this is one that my boyfriend and I found while we were 
um, thrift shopping together and I never find anything at the thrift store so finding calico critter item that I didn't have was kind of crazy um, there's pictures online showing um, like a gift set version of these and there's like a specific kitchen set that fits in this nook and I happened to find it on eBay and it's coming in the mail and I cannot wait it was only $20 which is I mean kind of a lot but a full kitchen set is about that price relatively I have two of the most basic calico critter homes you'd be able to find on eBay or Craigslist or Facebook marketplace um, because this is the starter home a lot of people um, get these with a gift like as a gift set uh, they're pretty cute I got these both for really cheap in really good lots so I can't really complain about them this isn't the type you can get in the stores right now it's very similar uh, very similar color and shape and size and whatever they make this shape a lot as you can tell with the um, previous home that I showed but the one you can get in stores right now has like a little window right here and there's a bakery attachment that's compatible with that so um, these are pretty cool I wish I could incorporate these into my collection too because they give a lot of space and they can stack on top of like these big buildings but because my shelf is a little too short for that it doesn't work um, I just hold on to these I might give these away I just um, I just feel like no one would really want them because they're so easy to find so they would just sit I'm not sure yet I don't know but so this is um, the Cedar Terrace I got this off walmart.com during Black Friday for only $30 it came as a gift set with two dolls and a few pieces of furniture this one has um, some stuff in it right now because my niece plays with this one um, but it's really cute. Um, it's pretty big on the inside, which is why I really like it. This is my log cabin. I got this in a lot with the boutique. And um, I'm not really sure how I feel about this one. This one's pretty um, easy to find on eBay as well. There's a lot of pieces in there because my niece was playing with this thing. I'm probably going to keep it. I don't really like reselling because it's like $20 to ship. I don't know if that's the real amount, but that's how much people charge. And for a basics... Um, easy to find playset like this um, I probably wouldn't sell it it probably wouldn't sell very well so I might just keep this until I can find the right home for it and the last building is this clinic it's not complete it doesn't have the little ramp which I really want because it came with some wheelchairs so it's kind of ironic how it's not really wheelchair accessible um, but I really like the way it looks I really wanted the green one but I settled for the blue one because this one was pretty cheap. And then I got a replacement receptionist desk, or reception desk, and it looks really nice in there. Sorry, I say really a lot, but um, and this is what the inside looks like. And it came with some stuff. I honestly kind of want to keep my collection like this way with everything facing outward because it looks so much more neat and it's more manageable manageable yeah manageable but um this has gotta be a place for all of my babies to live and prosper because this way that i'm currently storing them is really bad for them um it's not too bad i guess but as you can see like they get kind of like dented in their flocking so those are all of my buildings i'm not going to go into the furniture because i have so many different um furniture pieces I don't know the names of them or like any much about them and I also have different types of um, accessories and things like this is a remit it's Melissa and Doug I have mostly calico critter stuff but it's kind of a mishmash I love just having different pieces in my collection just to have a variety in the houses so that was my calico critter building collection thank you guys so much for watching have a great day bye